गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस वीडियो इज फॉर बीबीए थर्ड ईयर फाइनेंस स्पेशलाइजेशन स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी विल डिस्कस द सब्जेक्ट कॉल्ड एस आई पी एम सिक्योरिटी एनालिसिस एंड पोर्टफोलियो मैनेजमेंट टे स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट यूनिट थ्री ऑफ योर एस आई पी एम सब्जेक्ट वी हैव कॉम्प्लीटेड यूनिट वन where we have seen the concept of shares debentures mutual funds securities market and second part includes your stock exchange characteristics functions functioning trading system trading window all those things we have discussed in your unit 1 and in your unit 2 comprises of various things like risk and return we have seen so many theories of risk classification of risk and also we have practiced a number of problems on calculation of the risk and also its return we have also seen problems on correlation between two different securities or correlation coefficient between the two different securities now we will be starting your unit 3 dear students in your unit 3 there are certain things like first part is your bond analysis in your unit 3 the first part belongs to your bond analysis then we have then we have economic analysis as well as industry analysis so the core concept of unit 3 of your sapm subject comprises of first what which belongs to bond analysis second which belongs to your economic analysis and third part belongs to your industry analysis so in today's class we will be starting the bond analysis let's start bond analysis dear students first of all we will see the meaning of bond then it will be very much easier to go for further concepts of bond analysis so first of all we need to understand what is bond dear students every company whenever wants to raise its fund every company whenever wants to raise its fund is issuing the equity as well as issuing its debt
so whenever the company wants to raise funds or wants to raise funds from the public or from the rational investors generally it thinks about equity and it thinks about debt there are certain equity instruments and there are certain amount of debt instruments now equity instruments we have also seen in our unit 1 which in includes shares equity shares when any investor buys the equity shares of any company he or she became the owner of the company the proportion to which the investor buys the equity shares exactly the same proportional of ownership of the investor gets after buying the equity shares now coming about debt in instruments there are two type of debt instruments generally found in india So, debt instruments are of two types. First one is bonds, second one is debentures. The students, in most of the countries, bonds and debentures, bonds and debentures are the same. There is not a very high amount of difference between these two. But in India, or generally practically speaking, there is a small difference between the bond and debentures. There is a small difference between bond and debentures. Why I am telling all these things to you? Because only when we understand the basic meaning or basic difference between bond and debentures, then only our concept of bond will be very very clear to you. On the other hand, if we will not discuss these things, then somewhere and somehow you will be thinking that bonds and debentures are having the same thing. No, it's exactly not that. There is just, no doubt, both the terms belong to the debt instrument. Both bonds, you can see from the chat, both bonds as well as debentures belongs to debt instrument, but still there is a small difference so far as bond and so far as debentures are concerned. What is that? Let's discuss it. bonds and debentures If we see first of all the meaning, dear students, bond is also a debt instrument. Bond is also a debt instrument which is issued to the public by the government, by the municipality or different financial institutions in order to raise the long term funds. Coming about debentures, that is our second part. Debentures is also one kind of debt instrument which is issued by the corporates in order to increase or raise the long term funds but but there is a small difference between its meaning what is that
you can see the difference you can see the difference bonds are generally issued by the government the municipality corporations and various financial institutions like ifci idbi sidbi state financial corporations etc so remember bonds are generally issued by the government bonds are generally issued by the government the government of india generally issues bond to the general public in order to increase its fund so whenever the government of india is thinking for raising its own fund he will or the government will be thinking for issuing of bonds to its general public now municipal corporations various municipal corporations whenever various municipal corporations of different parts of india whenever they want to raise their long term funds also they also can issue bonds financial institutions as i said various financial institutions like ifci industrial financial corporation of india idb industrial development bank of india sfc state financial corporations they are also issuing the bonds whenever they are want to raise the long term funds but the second part is debenture debentures are always issued by the public company generally i am not saying that government cannot issue debentures but generally practically speaking in india we found debentures are always issued by the public limited companies debentures are always issued by the public limited companies government has absolutely no role to play so far as debentures are concerned so this is the basic basic difference between bonds and debentures between the bonds and debentures so far as meaning is concerned now the person two things is also important two words bond issuer bond holder what is bond issuer or who is a bond issuer the person who issues bonds the person who issue bonds is known as the bond issuer so in the example government municipality corporations financial institutions will be the bond issuers because remember bond issuer means the person who generally issues or offers the bonds to the general public then second part comprises of a bond holder who is a bond holder now it is very simple the person who buys the bonds will be the bond holder generally the common man or the general public or any person who buys bonds from government municipal corporations financial institutions will become the bond holder one thing bonds are generally issued by under collateral security bonds are always collateral in nature dear students the term collateral means that it gives a guarantee collateral means it may it gives a guarantee to the investor that if the bond issuer is unable to repay the debt amount or the bond amount then the bond holder then the bond holder can easily claim it in the court and get back the amount getting my point collateral security includes that bonds are always collateral in nature it is generally sense that bonds are always gives a guarantee to the bond holder that if the respective organization is not able to repay the bond amount or the debt amount to the bond holder then the bond holder has the option to claim in the court or can claim before the court for the compensation amount but debentures general of
debentures can be secured and unsecured debentures are of secured nature debentures are of unsecured nature so in another way we can say that the amount of risk so far as bond is concerned is very less bonds are generally includes very low risk because it gives it, it gives a guarantee to the bond holder that if the respective organization is unable to repay the amount then the bond holder can claim for it so there is exist very low risk but so far as debentures are concerned there is always a high risk now dear students it automatically leads to it automatically leads to low return under bonds generally the rent of rate of interest is very very low because risk is also very less and in unit 2 we have seen there always exist a direct relationship between the risk and return of the security lower is the risk lower will be the return in the case of bond since risk is lower then return is also lower lower is the risk lower will be the return but in the case of debentures since risk is high so return return is also very high high risk high return under bonds low risk low return so bonds generally comprises of very low rate of interest or a very fixed rate of interest whatever the coupon rate later on we will discuss what is coupon rate whatever the coupon rate of the bond only that much that much uh, guarantee that the bond holder will definitely going to get at the time of maturity fine another thing bonds are generally repayable under accrued basis bonds are generally issued on accrued basis or accrual basis or accrual basis of payment accrual basis of accrual or accrued basis of payment in the case of bond but in the case of debenture periodical payment what does it mean dear students accrued payment or accrued concept means or accrued basis of payment means suppose the investor buys a bond whose maturity period is 3 years for example 3 years and same person buys a debenture whose maturity period is also 3 years whose maturity period is also 3 years so both bonds and debentures is having 3 years of maturity period now under bond the return that the bond holder will get will be as as follows after the end of the maturity period that is after the end of the third year total principal amount plus total interest amount together is payable to the bond holder suppose the investor buys bond worth rupees 1 lakh so uh, only after maturity period it means only after 3 years the bond holder is going to get back his principal amount that is rupees 1 lakh plus interest suppose 30000 so total amount belongs to 1 lakh 30000 so after 
the end of the maturity period it means after 3 years after the end of 3 years the bond holder will get rupees 130000 in between the 3 years the bond holder is not going to get even a single rupee only when the maturity period comes then only the bond holder is going to get his principal amount along with the interest rate whatever specified on the bond at the time of purchase now under debenture holder or in the case of debenture suppose the investor buys same example rupees 1 lakh for 3 years then under debenture payments are made, made on payments are made on periodical basis maybe per month maybe per quarter or monthly interest quarterly interest half yearly interest or yearly interest that the debenture holder is going to get suppose quarterly interest so on at the end of every quarter that is on, at the end of every three months the debenture holder is going to get the return suppose it is half yearly then after the end of six months the debenture holder is going to get the interest amount suppose it is monthly then after the end of one month or every month the debenture holder is going to get the interest amount and after the end of three years he or she will be receiving the principal amount not the interest amount because interest amount is already received during the three years by the debenture holder but generally under bonds only when the maturity period comes only when the maturity period arises then only the debenture holder is going to get back the amount in between the years not even a single rupee is repayable in the case of bonds so dear students these are the various points of difference or you can say very small amount of difference that exists between bonds and debentures i hope now you are able to understand the meaning of bond as well as the meaning of debenture and also the difference between the terms like bonds and debentures students now we will discuss some of the features of the bonds after discussing the meaning now let's discuss what are the different features or characteristics of bonds first what is face value every bond is having certain amount of face value like this units at the rate of rupees per each 200 units at the rate of rupees 20 each so there is always a face value or we may say bonds are always issued at par 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 it means 100 bonds are always calculated on its face value or at par par means generally 100 so whether it will be issued at par there will be definitely certain amount of face value we may also say it as the nominal value of the securities so every bond is issued at the face value and when the maturity period comes the bond issuer has to repay the principal amount it means has to repay the face value of the bond along with the interest has to repay the face value of the bond plus interest now suppose your interest rate is 5% and it will be issuing for 3 years take the first example 100 units are issued at rupees 12 each at the rate of 5% of interest for 3 years so as I said 
interest is always payable after the end of the maturity period that is three years so after the end of three years the bond holder will get under the example number one hundred units at the rate of rupees 12 each becomes to 1200 becomes to 1200 so 1200 is the has value of the security it is the fv has value of the security at the rate of five percent interest so 1200 into five percent suppose it comes to 60 so rupees 60 or year it means on the three year 60 into 3 180 so 1200 1200 plus 180 1200 is the face value or the principal amount 180 is the interest amount 1200 into 5 percent comes to 60 rupees for one year similarly for three years 60 into 3 180 so 1200 plus 180 equals to rupees 1380 so rupees 1380 will be the amount of uh, the security that the bond holder will be getting after the end of the three years so dear students in today's class we have seen the basic concept or meaning of bond what is the difference between bond and debentures there are few more features also we have also seen the features or we have just seen the features first feature of bond there are also certain other features or you may say characteristics of bond most probably five more because there are total six features of bond we have completed in today's class only one feature or first feature so remaining five features or remaining five characteristics we will be discuss or we will be discussing in the next class that's it in today's video just go through today's video very carefully ask me any doubt relating to this video on the next google meet session thank you